Welcome back everybody to the best wrestler ever. This idea was brought to you by, there's a, there's a screenshot up there. Uh, thanks to you for the great suggestion. Now today is boss man versus British Bulldog. So again, this is WWE only. This is not what they did in New Japan or Stampede, whatever, this is WWE only. So let's have a look at first thing, promo. Personally, neither one of them was a strong promo, but if I have to give it to one of the two, I'll give it to Bossman. So Bossman's tally at the moment is one. Next, look. So Bossman, he had the classic prison guard look, then he went to the, the black, almost like the shields kind of attire, where Bulldog, he came out in the late 90s with jeans on. His look wasn't great in my opinion, so look goes to Bossman. Then next, theme. Bulldog, what was his theme? He's a British wrestler. That was pretty much his theme. Bossman, he was a disgruntled prison guard. He had kind of a good theme, kind of a good backstory. So again, Bossman, so it's threes up. So this is out of nine. So um, yes. Next, we've got Kayfabe. This kind of goes hand in hand with theme. Bossman kind of stuck to Kayfabe, where is Bulldog? There was no real Kayfabe behind his character. He was simply just a British wrestler. He was simply just a guy who wrestled. So this is now Bossman for Zip. So one more for Bossman and he takes it. Next, we're going to in-ring ability. Now Bossman was a good big guy, but if you watch the tag team with Bulldog and his, uh, I think it's his brother-in-law, David, oh, I'm not David Boy Smith, that is Bulldog, with his uh, brother-in-law, Dynamite Kid, those two were absolutely brilliant in the ring together. So Bulldog, you're getting your first point. So it's 4-1. Next, title wins. So the total amount of titles they've won. Bulldog in WWE won the Hardcore Championship four times and the Tag Team Championship once. I believe that was with Ken Shamrock. Bulldog won the European Championship twice, Intercontinental Championship once. He won the Hardcore Championship twice, and he won the Tag Team Championship with Owen Hart and with his brother-in-law. He won that four times, so that goes to Bulldog. So at the moment, it's 4-2. Bulldog is making a comeback. Push. As much as I love Ray Trailer, boss, big boss man, he was never really pushed the way he should have been. Whereas Bulldog, I mean, he main evented Wembley Stadium against Shawn Michaels for the World Championship. That push is pretty, pretty pretty decent so i'm going to give that one to bulldog so it is 4-3 next we've got crowd reaction go back and watch his match against Shawn michaels at wembley stadium now i know it was in your in the uk but the reaction he got was absolutely incredible boss man's reactions was always mud when he was a heel it was he got booed but he didn't get booed nearly as much as bulldog so we've got it now at 4-4 and lastly this one is all about my personal opinion and i think ray trailer aka the big boss man is un one of the most underrated big guys to ever do this and when i say big guy he was six foot seven he was a big guy i think he's one of the most underrated guys to ever do this and now boss man takes the win let's have a look at our uh, spoilers coming so that is the current state of our brackets. We've got Bossman through the next round. Next, we've got Harley Race versus Razor Ramon. Then we've got Macho Man Randy Savage versus Edge. Then we've got Michael Hayes versus Stone Gold. Owen Hart versus Gert Angle. That's a match I would have loved to see. Seth Rollins versus Mick Foley. Then we've got uh, Superstar Billy Graham versus Dolph Ziggler. And then we've got Dean Ambrose versus Hulk Hogan. And then this is round robin until we finally reach a who's the best wrestler of all time. Hope you guys enjoying this series. If you did, please consider subscribing. Until next time, peace.